Hello and welcome to The Main Cave. In today's video, we are going to be going from this to this. So this is the DAC board. This is something that's been around for a while, but I've only really just caught up on it and how easy it is to install. For me, it was quite cheap as I had most of the parts I need to build it. But you will need a few things to get the full experience and depending on what you already have dictates how cheap or expensive this build is. Essentially all you need is a screen and a way to put stuff onto that screen and the program DAC board. For me I had a spare 720p 32 inch TV in the house along with an Amazon Fire Stick TV, the 2019 model and all of the appropriate cables. But what I did need to get for this video is a TV wall mount and some of these. These are something I picked up off Amazon and it means that I can mount pretty much anything I want to on a stud wall with plasterboard. It's claimed on it are correct and it is genius but I will go into it in more depth later. So not only can you use a TV with a fire stick, it also gives you the option to use the Raspberry Pi, an iPad, or laptop depending on which one is easier for you the one is the one to get if you are going to be using the Raspberry Pi then you can buy an SD card off the website which has all the DAC board software loaded onto it for iPad and laptop it is simply a case of loading up the screen on the website but for me using the Fire Stick using the internet browser on the Fire Stick through my 32 inch TV is ideal so a little corner of the main cave is where I dump most of my stuff for the channel. For gaming, pretty much anything gets dumped in this corner and it really needs tidying up. That's where I thought of the idea to have an echo frame hung up so I could see things like my calendar, my pictures amongst other things. But then I happened to stumble across an article which introduced me to DAC board as an alternative to the frame. So the echo frame got put in the kitchen and I set about building a DAC board setup into the main cave. I first had to clear the area, then I set about mounting the TV onto the wall. It's a stud wall with only plasterboard that needed fixing. So I found again these bull fixes on Amazon, and let me tell you, these things are amazing. The engineering on them is top notch, and didn't find them too pricey when buying a pack of 10. I'll leave links down below in the description where you can get yourself some. So as many of these as you need lined up and onto the wall, TV mount up nice and secure. Now onto the TV, attach the fire stick and the power cable to the TV and just make every sure that everything is set up and working and that you're logged in. And as an extra, I added some Govi LED strips all the way around the TV just to give it a bit of colour. I left the TV off the wall as I set it up as it made it easier to control it horizontally. The setup is dead easy and it takes a couple of steps. If you're going to go vertical like I am, it's a few more steps, but it's literally a couple of minutes to set the DAC board up. If you want to control the timeout, there are a bunch more steps to follow, but I haven't done that yet. I have the screensaver going, then when I want to the DAC board, I just ping the remote, but no doubt I'll end up changing this. So set up a screen that the free account gives you just to make sure it works, then hang the TV on the wall and it's time to get creative. It was very clear from the off that you need to have a paid account for this to be much more useful. Fortunately, there's a 30 free days promotion, so I signed up for the essential plan at $5 a month. You can pay $48 for the full year, giving you a bit of a saving though if you want. There's also two other plans, but they are very business centric, such as the plus for $10 a month, which gives you more screens and faster updating or the top package of $30 a month but gives you pretty much everything you need. But for me, in the main cave, Essential is absolutely spot on. So once you've signed it up, it gives you the option to create a new screen and configure it. There are loads of templates which I use and I just configured one of them. Then once you're in the screen edit, you can add blocks. You're presented with a ton of options to add various information. There are loads from obvious ones such as photos, weather, Twitter feed and calendar through to not so obvious ones such as Nest, Slack, Sonos and QR codes. As I said, there are loads. To edit it is all a simple case of connecting a service if you need to, then drag and drop the block, making sure that it fits in your preferred place. I added my Google Calendar by signing into Google within the block, weather, which is just a case of adding my postcode, and photos, which is an iCloud shared photo album. The beauty of this is on my phone, I just whatever photo I wanted to put in the shared album and it refreshes on the board automatically. 
You can change the screen as many times as you like and the customization is endless. And with Essential, you can have a couple of different screens to play about with. You will be able to fit more on your screen if you have more than I have at 720p, but for me, it's worth it not having to buy a new screen. In the past week or so, I've used it regularly as a place to glance and check my calendar time and weather. But you may get more use out of it depending on what you need it to. This is very much suited to an office environment, but see through those apps that there's plenty for someone who wants this, let's say a family showing the calendar or to-do notes, etc. If you have a spare TV or screen to go on the wall, then this is brilliant standout feature for your room. It certainly has the wow factor. But if you need to actually buy a TV, buy an iPad or Fire Stick, then it could run higher costs than say an Echo Frame and become some much more of an expensive feature. The Echo Frame does have voice commands and integrates nicely with various services, but the backboard can have touchscreen, but again, you need to have the right kit. So my advice is 100% do this if you have the kit already. If you can spend a little money on it, then it's worth it. But if you need to spend lots, then the choice is yours as whether it's worth the money. Okay, thanks very much then. That was my look at setting up the DAC board in the main cave. Until the next video, bye-bye.